So I'm sitting at the Mariner's Museum and there's a little bit of shaking because I'm on the picnic table. We're gonna go ahead and start this um, drawing of, um, it's a planting box is what it is. And we're just gonna go well, very plein air. A little bit of a little bit of um, cicadas, I believe, are singing away. got here is we got some greenery and we're gonna put that greenery in there um, it's probably bee balm I don't know a lot of the flowers have have bloomed out and are done and uh, sorry to say that I I missed a lot of it that's that's how that works. There's a board in there too. That's that's how it goes. So we're gonna start with this fountain pen. It's got Noodler's black ink in it. And we'll put color in it when I'm satisfied with the drawing that I'm working on here. It is Sunday the 24th, as you can see down here. Well, there's some purple flowers over here. Just a message to myself that there's purple flowers hanging out over there with this purple watercolor. Um, what is it? General Kimberly's Kimberly watercolor. Okay. Let's Remember to do that, and there's some sticks sticking out of those. And then there's some, um, I, I used to be really big into a lot of herbs and things, and I would know the names of all of them, and that was many years ago. But it's pretty cool because it comes like this, and then it comes out into bunches of um, flowers. I mean, if you know what it is, leave a comment. If you can figure it out, I'll do a I'll pan over there with the camera when I'm finished, so you'll be able to see that. I know that there's corn flower cone cone flowers in here. So we're going to draw some of them in if they got all their leaves. I mean, they need their leaves. And then we also got people in the park <clears throat> here and they're um, coming by. So if you hear people talking, don't give it any mind. Years ago, I kept honeybees, and um, that was very interesting. I remember one year I got 125 pounds of honey out of them, and that was pretty fun. These are leaves. Lots and lots of leaves, and then we got some of these black-eyed Susans over here. They have a lot of 
flowers on them. There's kind of a slate walkway through there, but I don't believe it was meant for walking on. I just believe it was meant for, and then here's the back side of that. I just believe it was meant for people that are planting are supposed to be walking in there. It keeps it so you can get from the front to the back. and. yellow mustard like uh, plant I'm not sure exactly what that is but yeah this is basically wh where I'm at and we're gonna make it as pretty as we can there's a, a tree in the background It's a bee garden. There's a light post here. Okay, that's enough of that ink. Time for a little color. Okay, so what do we have for purple? I actually have a watercolor pencil to get my little purple flowers in there. It's the only purple I have, so we'll just let that be there. Okay. And then we have Okay, so that um, lemon yellow is just a bit much so we're going to tone it down a bit and we're going to bring out some this, and then we're going to add some more, mix that up. And then there is um, There, um, gonna have to sit there and get that purple. Come on with the purple. Okay, we succeeded in making blue. Okay, so I am definitely not gonna use that orange. That's what happens when you get pretty excited. And it's okay, I mean, yeah so we'll start again put just the slightest blue in it and maybe just a, a hint more oh yeah now we're cooking 
is that the color we wanted? Well, that's the color I wanted. Okay, now we want a hint of black in that purple mixture so I can tone it down. I end up with a kind of a blue-gray because we're going to add it into these flowers here a little bit. We're also gonna, the, the boxes have been painted some kind of a gray. So that's what we're doing with them too. That's our boxes. And just so you know, the leaves are not yellow, but there is a lot of sunshine um, catching the leaves. Add some more green in there. Now we're going to go straight out of the sap green. the sap green which is what I'm working with right here just straight straight out of the sap green oh yes I'm using um Van Gogh paints wipe the brush off a bit That's the, the beauty of a, a, um, a flower bed. Uh, it's not totally stark green. Now, there is some flowers here that have a little bit more color in them. So we're gonna, we're gonna stick them in there. And then we're gonna put the flowers in there that probably don't exist. And I'm sure that you're okay with that. All right, and then there's this yellow ochre. That needs to go in there. So we're gonna add some more yellow ochre to that. We can add some yellow ochre in there, and in there, and there. And one place I do want yellow ochre is the start of this tree. So, no, the tree is not yellow ochre. The tree surprisingly has no bark whatsoever. Well, it like grows bark and then it peels off. So the tree kind of looks like this. Just, even the tree doesn't like the heat, it takes its clothes off. Oof, duh. All right, 
No, there's a matter of a lamppost that is black, which I don't believe is black. So we're gonna make it blue. In the background, it's full of trees and leaves, but um, we're going to change that. Oh, look at you, you poor thing. Look at, here's a bee. It didn't make it. We're going to have this painting with a blue sky. Okay. Go away, little bee. We're so sorry. You spent your life and it's done now, so. And when I pan up with the camera, you're going to see there's nothing but trees behind here. But I'm excited to share a blue sky. I did not use gouache today. I only used watercolor. I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, no matter what you do in life, do your very best and, and have fun. I mean, life is too short. So enjoy all the moments. So now we're gonna do this. I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at. How cool is that? And my picnic table. Everybody have a great day. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe and share because it really helps me out. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.